Hi there. Today, we're going to explore struggling to say no, how to create healthy boundaries that stick. I'm Claire Downham, transformational life coach and mentor and creator of the Thriving Woman Approach. I think it can be really hard to say no. And so much of the time, so many people are requesting things of us, aren't they? And I think for me, the reflection on that is that I was brought up to be a good girl. And good girls don't say no, do they? (laughs) Because when a good girl says no, she gets into trouble and is disappointed. You know, our parents are disappointed in us. And I think that is something that we have carried with us. I also think that perhaps for a lot of us, there is something around us being, you know, for the generation of women that I often work with, being the first generation of women who were given all this opportunity, we were told there's all this opportunity, you're the first generation to be able to do all of these things at, at you, you know, at the age you're at. And you should take that opportunity. You should do it all. Like I often say, we misunderstood the call to action, ladies. We misunderstood it. The call to action was not you can do everything. It was you can do anything. There are possibilities for you. That's That was what we were being guided towards. But I just think we misheard it right at the beginning. And ever since then, we've just been saying yes to everything. And you just can't keep doing it. You can't keep saying yes to everything. Now, I think this has a multitude of layers, this thing about saying yes to things, because in my journey, there was definitely something around, yeah, yes, saying yes to people outside, but also believing that I was saying yes to me. So my journey was um, a a very rapid um, career journey in education, reaching the top of the ladder and really on reaching the top of that ladder into my second headship where I had a big school to manage and a lot going on, there was this sense of it still not being enough, like it's still not filling that hole within me. And so my saying yes to excess was directed towards, at that point, my social life. So I really thought I was saying yes to happiness because I wanted to feel differently to how I felt. And I really thought at that time that I should be doing lots of things in order to achieve that. So I hadn't hadn't got it from my career I did love my job. I enjoyed my job, but there was still like this emptiness that I wanted to fill. And I really thought that that was fillable in the outside world. So on reaching the top of the career ladder and not feeling that, I then went off into the outside world and just filled my life with stuff. So going out and salsa dancing and online dating, trying to find a new relationship, just just lots and lots of being out, doing things. And when I wasn't doing that, I still had this ridiculously intense full time job, was a single parent and, you know, managing all the things, organisational things that my children needed, bearing in mind they were both very busy with with all their different activities that they did and and all of that going on. And and really, I thought I was saying yes to myself. I was overextending myself ridiculously not just from not saying no to other people, but probably more so saying yes to myself because I thought that's really what I needed, that I needed to 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 do more in order to feel okay. And of course, the result for me was burnout. And there are so many women burning out now. And I think it's probably a combination of the two. It's a combination of not being able to say no and all the resentment that comes with that and and the kind of, oh my God, you know, do I have to do something else? You know, resentment is a really um, uncomfortable emotion to deal with and to be present to. But uh, alongside that, a kind of thing where we're neglecting ourselves, we're neglecting our body, you know, our body might be screaming, stop, slow down, 
rest, take it easy, eat better, you know, take care of yourself. And our body will, you know, my body was literally screaming at me by the end, (laughs) screaming blue murder. You know, it was literally screaming at me. I was jittery. I couldn't sleep. I felt just, I mean, discombobulated is probably the best word for it throughout that period. But I wasn't aware enough and I wasn't connected enough to my body to really see that happening. And so that that kind of, um, you know, that kind of imbalance is causing so much ill health. I mean, I often say to people, I'm grateful I burn out because I think if I'd carried on on that ridiculous path, the result wouldn't have been burnout. It would have been a heart attack or a stroke or something or some kind of brain hemorrhage because I would have continued on that ridiculously stressful path. So there's there's two there's two things here. There's the there's this not being able to say no to other people and there's not being able to say no to ourselves, thinking that we've got to fill our lives with all these different things. And this is the this is the outside in misunderstanding at play where we think the outside world has to be a certain way in order for us to feel okay. And the result of that is is illness. It's physical exhaustion, it's emotional overwhelm. And 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 bizarrely, even if we're doing all these things for ourselves, it's a loss of self-respect. So boundaries for me, um, and we talk about this in the Thriving Woman approach a lot, it, it, boundaries have got really like icky I think like it's it's got to be permanent and rigid and you know this is not okay rather than for me what's much more powerful and this is how we look at it through the thriving woman approach is that we, we're going to be setting boundaries from yes from a place of self-respect but not the self that's inhabiting our heads but the self the body, like the body's often saying, do you want to just not go out tonight? You know, say no to that. Say no to this over here because actually your body would like to rest a bit. It would like some peace and some quiet and not to be doing, 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 doing all the time. And the key, one of the keys to me with this is presence. You know, when you stop and you really get into your body and and you align from a place of peace when you are at peace and you are your mind is quiet what is good for you will come become clear now the mind will come in very quickly like it always does in a boring and predictable way with well no no you must say yes to that you're going to have a great time or you must say yes to that because this person is relying on you and they need you to do that and they're going to think you're a bit ugh if you don't do that. Whatever it is, know that there is a boring predictability to this kind of good girl must please and and also this sense that we need to be doing all this stuff in the outside world. It's all the same thing really. It's all the mind coming in when we align from a place of peace and then the mind will predictably come in and say no to that. No, 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 you you need to do the thing. You need to go out. You need to say yes to that person. You need to do what they want you to do. And And this is where awareness can be so powerful because, you know, and that's something we just continually talk about. The whole process of the thriving woman approach is an awareness raising process. When we just start to go, okay, there is a boring predictability to the showing up of a voice in my head that says not to look after myself, not to care for myself, not to do what's right for my for my body to take care of it. And that's that's really powerful when we begin to really see that. And from that place, we can literally be creating boundaries as we go you know you might go out one week and the following week because you know because you're feeling energized and you've got loads of time in your schedule and the following week you might just go no looking at what's happening in my week this week that's not going to work for me and I'm going to say no to going out I'm going to say no to that activity I'm going to say no to that thing 
And it's going to be okay for me to do that. And, and again, the boringly predictable noise will come in because it just does. And, and if we are truly going to thrive, a big part of that with the thriving woman approach is presence. What is now? The entanglement of trying to control it all in the future, having rigidity, I mean, it's got to be like this, is, is just overwhelm. It's another place of overwhelm. So that that's that's the key really. The key is this presence and this connection to the body. And from a place of calm, knowing what's right for you and align really aligning with that authentically. So check out um check out the thriving woman approach. This is what it's all about, you know, is one of the major parts of it is the stuff around boundaries. So uh, there'll be some details about that somewhere here. Okay, take care, lots of love, and thank you so much for listening.